Uh, before we get started, I made a new friend! I don't know what my luck is in this game. We've been chosen. Also, we have something very special to show off. This is our dad, Arison's father, and we're gonna evolve him to start the stream. I can't evolve right now. What do you mean? Oh, wait, he needs to be in his Pokeball. We get Hisui in Typhlosion, and he is Fire Ghost. Okay, taking a page out of Chandelier's book. He needs some sleep. Yeah, he looks tired. Uh, this also works out remarkably well. Uh, we've actually got the trio of like three of my all-time favorite starters on the team. Uh, I do also have this boyo, uh, who is now also an alpha one that I found. I think like Oshawott heard me talking shit. This guy's tall. We get a Samurai. He's got like dark armor. Back in the box you go, Samurai. Uh, we have our final team as well. Where, where is the egg's face? Oh, he's asleep. Right. That's that's oddly terrifying. <laughs> we have a team that we're gonna use here. Gumi's gonna cheer on from the sidelines along with the shiny crowd. Is the team we're gonna be using to take on the world. We're gonna try do everything that's left in Pokemon Legends Arceus today. We're finishing the Pokedex, by which I mean we're gonna catch everything that's available to us, and we're hopefully gonna get the game to the point where we fight God himself before today is out. The Dark Sum Nightmare. Oh, we're gonna get Darkrai just like that. There's a strange Pokemon up in the Coronet Highlands. Okay, sure. It's an old tale that's long been told in the Hisui region about a dark nightmare that visits people on lonely paths at night. Never put any stock in it myself until I saw it. I saw a terrifying black Pokemon just like the one in the stories. They say that people who are trapped in the nightmares it creates never wake again. You can't wait for someone to fall victim to it. We've got to act before that can happen. I saw it near the Clamberclaw Cliffs, partway up Mount Coronet. Be careful if you go in search of it. I wouldn't want you to lose your life over this. It's just here. Oh, it's so menacing. I think he's just messing with me. <laughs> how do how do I actually catch him? There we go. So it has to be like the actual moment he comes out. Air slash. Okay. Follow that up with an air slash. Okay. I'm gonna try an air slash next round. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Use a flash can. I, I really don't want a chance of killing it. God, that doesn't tell me how much it can take at all now. What if we just catch it now? Okay, thanks. Now everyone will be able to rest easy. Yes, no one else will fall victim to such dark nightmares. I suppose I better be heading back home myself now. I won't ever forget what you did. Farewell, young one. Went pretty well. Once when I was little, I got lost here in the obsidian fieldlands. I was wandering around, wandering around in tears when I stumbled across a field of beautiful flowers. That's why I met it, a Pokemon I'd never seen before. It gave me a flower and set off walking, as if to guide me somewhere. So I followed it, and it led me back to a place I recognized. Thanks to that Pokemon, I made it home safely. But I never got to properly thank it. I'd like to find it again and tell it how grateful I am. Here, this is the only clue I've got. Grace City, yep. Yeah. Oh, so we can get Shaman Sky then as well. Is this the field from back then? Doesn't look like it's doing too well. Excuse me, can you hear me, kind Pokemon? Long time ago, I got lost out here and you guided me back. I don't know if I've made it home without you. So I just came to say, thank you so much. The flowers. It's a miracle. There's a Shaman. Look at that little hedgehog. Oh, Pokemon! Wise guy, eh? Come on, get in the ball. Uh, just give it an old moon blast. God almighty, every- Oh no! You must catch the Pokemon to battle once more. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, we got it that time. <laughs> yeah, I took more Pokeballs than like 
Tialga. <laughs> So now if we go through the Pokedex, you may actually spot that I have actually caught everything. Uh, the only one that, that is a non-legendary, I think, that is missing is Spiritom. Uh, but speaking of Spiritom, I found every Wisp in the entire region. Wow, you've got it every last one of the Wisp. I really can't thank you enough. Now we can finally seal away that havoc wreaking bundle of mischief once more. But we'll need to go to the Shrouded Ruins. That's the only place the sealing will work. First of all, a confession. I may have told you one teeny tiny lie about the wisps. There are actually 108 of them. I've been holding on to the last one. Could you put it in the odd keystone with the others? But wait, before that, well, Grandad, what do you think of me? Who's to say? Really, even ga after gathering 107 wisps? Oh, well, it's fine. We have time after all. After this, the traveler who used that strange magic will finally forgive me, right? Close your eyes for a sec, would you? Oh, she was the final wisp. She was a ghost child. Nice wisp completion get! The odd keystone started glowing. There's some kind of strange aura leaking out from the cracks. Are they really just cracks? Oh! Well, that was rude. Uh, I'm kind of deadly afraid of killing this. I mean, I, I just saved it. One leaf blade can't cause too much damage. The last spirit, we get spirit arm. Oh, I thought something else was about to play, but nope, that's just it. Okay, that's the reward. Maybe it respawns. It's like, oh sweet, another dead child. Oh yeah, more ghost children. Hey, if it isn't granddad, good timing. I found some treasure you'd be interested in. That make your ears perk up. Happy to fill you in if you're curious. Who's to say? Here's the deal. I want you to show me what's in your mind, your heart, your soul. In short, battle me. Just I'll pass. <laughs> I don't, I don't wanna. Get him, Doctor Who. I really should have healed. Oh, wait, no. It's okay. Auto heal. Oh, he's actually got a team. No, wait. They're half level. We're okay. Okay. Good leafy on. God love him. At least he's trying. He had, like, higher level poke. Let's slightly higher level Pokemon. He sent them all out at once. Um, but it really didn't make a difference. You need to raise your Pokemon, Adamant. An Adamant Crystal? When using the Alga, this large glowing gem wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. Oh! Oh, we gotta go use that. We get three Comet Shards for that as well. That's actually kind of amazing. It's possibly more valuable than the Crystal is just like, oh my god, I need to pawn these off to you. Uh, you know, I have to take out Shaman too, because we have like Sky Form for that. Shaman Sky Form is, is actually really cool. An Adamant Crystal. Oh, God, what is he gonna look like? Okay, well, I mean, very good boy. I love him. What the fuck? That's such a weird version of it. It's like Arcee is combined with a Dialga. You like run him through like you know that site that website like Pokemon Fusion Where it just like combines the sprites. That's really what it looks like. Who's a good boy Shaman? Who's a good boy? Oh also for all my Pokedex completing a couple of things registered here I have enough to become to get one more rank so we can see what an ungodly climb this last one is Oh, yeah, I got the washing machine by the way <laughs> Uh, I believe he sold it as like a mechanical gearbox, but it's straight up just a washing machine. And here's my nice fan to keep me cool. It's wonderful. Uh, I think we're only missing the fridge now. <laughs> got a very modern home. There's good space for the fridge here. We'll get it soon. We almost got max rank. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be an ungodly climb for this last one. And we've caught pretty much everything. You get 10 rare candies and some pebbles. All right. What's the last level? <laughs> oh! God! Yeah, if you could just double the amount of research points that you've gotten over the course of the entire game, that'll get you the max rank. I mean, I'll I'll chip away at it, but we're not doing that one today. <laughs> Hello, Grandad. Just about to go find you and tell you about this precious, incredibly precious thing I found. Are you curious? Tantalized? Who's to say? Okay, we gotta beat Arita. Is she, does she also have a few extra evolutions? Oh, she's gonna play a song before we fight her.
one more time. My partners and I are gonna get stronger and travel all across this wide world. It's just a shame your partners are about to die. Get him, Jeffredad. Flash cannon the glacial. <laughs> well, that's the main one dead. <laughs> Jeffredad is practicing so he can raise his future son. The penguin line must continue in the distant future. Oh, Flareon dodged it. Well, isn't that cute? Hydro pump. Jeffredad, you gotta look at it. It's over here. You gotta turn to face your, your enemy. Look this way. All right, aim over here. There you go. Yeah, you just need a just need a little guidance. Get out this one next, Jeffrey Dad. There you go. A lustrous globe. Use on Palkia. This large glowing orb wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. Oh, we get more money. I might be able to buy a fridge soon! I'm not even going to check out Palkia's alternate form, it's just like, Oh sweet, there's a fridge in stock! You know you want to sell it to me. No. He hasn't found it yet. He's got to pop around the curries first. We got too excited. Chimeca's decided to nest up, nest in my house. Do you think you could help me to get it to move? Oh, but he's having such a- He's not causing any harm. It made itself at home under the eaves before I even noticed. It seems mellow enough, but I'm not at ease with having a Pokemon so close. Already spoke to some homeowners who'd be willing to let Chimeco move in with them. What I'd like you to do is have a look at the homes and make sure they'd be a good fit for Chimeco. We gotta find Chimeco a home. This mean old lady doesn't want him. Oh, he's sad here. <laughs> the wind direction seems to be bothering Chimeco. Oh, so it prefers the way the, the, the wind blows around my house. I like it too. We get a good breeze. Chime. Well, then how about a hut by the sea? The ocean breeze is so refreshing. Let's just pop him in this, like, beach hut where no one lives all by himself. He's gonna be so lonely. He loves where he is. Chime. Chimeco seems lonely since there's nobody about around. Just let him stay. So it likes lively places. It's always great to have some activity around. How about the training grounds? The security corps around that place is always bustling. Oh, he's happy here. Is that your Chimeco? Why don't you come and train with us? Oh, he doesn't want to battle. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> Just please accept him. How about next door to me then? It's hardly different at all from my place. Just had a chat with my neighbors and they said they'd be fine with Chimeco hanging around. Oh, pardon me. I know you just, I just said you chased about looking for a good home for Chimeco, but I think I'd like it to stay with me after all. You've really helped me understand Chimeco a lot better. I think we can actually live together now. <laughs> Just dawned on me that hearing its adorable cry coming from under the eaves is part of my routine now. Oh, it's got a happy ending. You're gonna live with me from now on, aren't you, Chimeco? And another trainer walks by. Go, Pokemon! Chimeco has been caught. Documented for the Pokedex. Okay, let's go check in with Volo. I've inspected ruins across the region and have concluded that they all seem to tell the same tale. The tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon on his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. An all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and its name is... Arceus. Oh yeah, he's been sending me texts this entire time. You should look, take a look at some of these spam messages I've been getting. Perhaps you've already heard his name. Who's to say? <laughs> so what do you say, Grandad? I think we should try to gather all the plates. And I've got just the idea with the starter search. Join me in the heart of Gruel and Grove. Okay, right, well, we got it. So how many plates do we need then? We have ten. So we need, in theory, eight more. Okay, well, let's go get him. If anyone spots a big weasel, please let me know. Should be able to see him from orbit because apparently that's the size that's required. Now, Grandad, according to my own investigations. An alpha Vespaquin? Just, just make a quick pit stop. Get him, Jeff or Dad. Get it down. Stone plate, just like that. That's actually kind of surprising. Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find the plate lying around. Why would that have the stone plate? In any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information about, so that's that. And yet nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect there must still be more plates left out there for us to find. There are still other tremendous Pokemon in Nisui, other mysteries to be solved. Whether they connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain. When searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the plant you seek. There are the Pokemon of the lakes, of course, and the Temple Giant. The crescent moon, the volcano, and perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Okay, so, Lake Trio, 
Regigigas, Cresselia, Heatran, and is that Arceus? Let's start with the lake Pokemon. Them you already know of. Go give them your thanks for the red chain. Show them how strong you've become. Okay, the volcano. Where could that be but Fire Spit Island? Okay, so that's where Heatran's gonna be chilling. The Crescent Moon. Yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Make for the Coronet Highlands for now. Moon View Arena. Okay. The secret that lurks in Snowpoint Temple. The finding must open the door that is sealed. And the beginning. Indeed, a beginning for you, certainly. Where was it you first fell to Earth here? Prelude Beach? Okay. Oh, we're going legendary hunting again. It's just like the end, like the post game of like Diamond and Pearl. Now is not the time for words. Face me in battle. No. <laughs> um, I'm actually good. Okay, Cynthia is about to clean up here. Another bulldoze. Okay, two dragon claws. There we go. I'll take the crit. Let's calculate it. Oh, he might kill Cynthia here. I don't think Cynthia's gonna be able to take it by herself. Yep, she's very much dead. I gave this steel beam now as well, so it's got a new attack. It seems pretty good. Right away, it's dude, the team seem a little stronger that the other trainers are using. Like, look at that, he's actually putting up a fight this time. Okay, get him, our dad. Oh, that's a cool fire. Can we just appreciate that? That's real cool looking. Okay, get him with the flamethrower. Okay, Braviary. Ah, uh, that's psychic type, and I'm a ghost type now. So if our dad lives it, we get to try out Infernal Parade. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> I can burn too, that's pretty good. Ghost type attack that causes burn. I really like that. Oh, you did great, our dad, in your first outing. Perhaps you were a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. The fist plate. In the very first of our galaxy expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others, set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly held some kind of power, so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on the same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adam and Arita, it would appear we're all being guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. Might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. <gasps> That's how it got the name! He gave you a brick? <laughs> I love my brick! Uh, let's head back outside the village. Uh, we're gonna encounter the Lake Trio next. The brick region. <laughs> Are we just gonna be able to battle you this time? Do we have to do a test or anything? Wait, can I... If I use the sneaky spray... I'm wondering if I can lose sight of him. Because if I can lose sight of him, I can just chuck a, a cheeky ball at him. No, it's not gonna work. Okay. Level 70 Mesprit. Oh, he's gonna heal as well. Can I just get lucky? <laughs> oh, Pokeball! Not quite. Uh, that's base 80, but stab, so if I use Sludge Bomb, should be safe. Oh my god. I'm wary about getting a crit on it as well. I think, like, even at this health range, I should probably just chuck the ball. Oh my god. Okay, chuck the ball now. I should have brought, like, a Pokemon that inflicts paralysis or something like that, shouldn't I? Oh my god. Just hit it. <laughs> okay. It's actually yellow health. Let's go for it. Thank you. Okay, we, we need to bring a Pokemon that's more capable for catching these things. All right, let's go. Okay, Electivire, your job is to inflict paralysis. This could be a significantly easier fight. Yes, yes it is. 
We do a little prep and we'll get on fine. Just inflict paralysis. That's half the battle. This works too well. And we'll try that again. Working too well. Looks like he hasn't even got a move in yet. I, I, I think we got it. <laughs> God, they're so easy to catch in this one. I don't think that's to me just being lucky. I think they're just significantly easier to get. Why do they have the Draco plate? I'm gonna like defeat Reggie Gigas. It's like, here's the fire plate. This door, well, they say behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entirety of the continents. The light is out. The stone plate and icicle plate you carry seem to be reacting to the door, but the door remains closed tight. Oh, so I I, I just need the other plate then, is it? Oh, hello. You're just here as well. Seems Arcanine has settled into his role as Lord quite nicely. He's learned how to control his frenzied might and use it in battle at will. Is there not something more pressing going on, Polina? I came here for the heat run. It's cool that you can rebattle the lords, I didn't know that. Or at Niskan, wasn't Lena joining us? Oh yes, about that, um... Seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she's asked us to check the Lavadone Sanctum. Is she not, like, two foot over there? Is that not her? What the nerve of, she knows I can't stand salt in places like this. She can probably hear you right now. Quo gobo Quo bo 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 that's a cry. Careful, Grandad. There we go. Level 70 heat ran. Um... I think he can take a hydro pump. He ran's a monster. Well, what have I done? Oh, he's here! I was just trying to see if I could get a shiny. That's why I killed the first one. Piran doesn't have his ability in this game, so... I could actually use a fire-type attack on him. That feels so wrong. But, yeah, it actually works. There we go. Okay, we can get Regigigas now as well. I would've loved, like, more interior dungeons that were fleshed out in this game. Like, we got the temple, and then we got, like, I think two caves. Okay, well, the plates are acting as keys. Doors open. My god! It's Reggie Gigas! Oh, I was gonna throw a ball at him. <laughs> zut zut. Oh, just straight in the battle with this one. He's slow to get going. He still has slow start. That's an interesting distinction for poor old Regigigas. He can't escape his ability even in this game. Electivire's on catching duty today. He will punch everything we need. Served your purpose well, Electivire. There we go. First Pokeball really just does it. I'm gonna fight like fucking Arceus. There's just gonna be go Pokeball. You have captured God. <laughs> the blank plate. Was it always called blank plate? I feel like it was just the normal plate before. Actually, no. Was there a normal plate? Because Arceus himself is normal type. They added a new plate. Why are they adding one for normal type? I don't suppose a grunt like you would even know, but I guess it behooves me to ask. You know about the poke? You know, know the Pokemon called Cresselia? Who's to say? <laughs> Cresselia is said to be the very embodiment of the crescent moon. Fetters are called lunar fetters. Legend says if you hold one as you fall asleep, you'll be visited with wondrous dreams. Well, I call her a nightmare, that pesky Cresselia. She descended upon M Moonview Arena and caused my lord to hide itself away. I'm so worried about Electro, I can't even sleep, never mind dream. You might be able to catch Cresselia and perhaps even claim one of those lunar fetters. The fetter's just extra. It's like, I just want one. I, I've heard they're rare, you know? I'm gonna sell it. How's it going, Cresselia? Apparently you're an invasive species now. Has it not seen me? Oh, Pokeball! Oh, it reversed the controls. Okay, well, there was some kind of fun mechanic going on there, but we've already got to it and are in battle now. Got him, Electivire. Okay, this is going to be much bulkier. Unfortunately, I think Cresselia does have access to healing. Lunar Blessing. Yeah. No, oh, it has unique healing now. Oh, great. And it... Wonderful. Right. Okay, it became obscured. 
So I can't hit it with a move this turn. If you could just be caught, please. Thank you. <laughs> God, that would have been an annoying fight otherwise. What a stroke of luck. It's got the dread plate for some reason. I don't know why it has this. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, uh, during my off time, I caught all the unknown. <laughs> just thought I'd go ahead and just start on that quest, because uh, it, it, it just took a while to like read all the descriptions for him. Track him down. But yeah, we caught the alphabet. Also, do you want some uh, story time with Grandad? Uh, because I caught every single one of the poems. Once there were two, and one looked upon time's steady pace. And one looked upon the expanse of space. And the two set out. The fullness of future that they seek. The world's far end would they greet. Two different paths, each walking alone a path that... Each walking a path their own. Though they walk with almighty sinner. O oh, you who at the world's far off end dwell. I know your wish, it is my wish as well. My own beloved is now gone from me, departed to a place I cannot reach. My old companions have left me behind, their faces faded into days gone by. Still to my breast I clutch this hopeless dream, a futile wish for, for us once more to meet. O oh, you who at the world's far off end dwell, I know your wish, it is my wish as well. But ours are cold and endless winter days, warmed only by memories locked away. No claws, nor fangs, no strength to claim, no man could hope to hold his own to mighty Pokemon. Bolts of light rained down one day, ten times they fell, ten times struck true upon ten Pokemon. Then to weak man did these ten turn, his strength to be, and all were blessed by loyal Pokemon. Were not these bolts a gift to man? Were they not your almighty grace, great Sinna, Paragon? Ten Pokemon, the ancient heroes loyal retinue. Though these companions now are gone, their noble duty passes on, the generations new. The people thank the ten descendants from their generous toil, by line and vessels built to last with water clear and choice repast, before the arena's soil. Long and longer yet ago, Celestica was here, but folk and town alike, both to disappear. In time came new folk sailing, sailing across the sea, called by their love for Sinna, great and almighty. With different were the Sinna that each folk did hold dear, and bitter s strife and angry war were always at the near. Celestica, they called themselves, the name not theirs to take. It claimed it, it from the past they did, for tragic quarrel's sake. So once again did our name live, though all our people gone. And even if the name endures, its heart does not live on. When the Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, enriching all our morrows. When the, that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrows. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us, the act did not to wallow. O lake and alabaster lands of ice, lake brimming o'er with rich acuity. How many seek the Pokemon that shows itself there, out to answer its words true and earn its boon true ingenuity? But should they fail to understand its words and let, let its questions meet with no reply, their minds will be wiped clean of memory. O lake and alabaster lands of ice, depths where rich acuity goes to sink. Throughout Husui, plates lie scattered, plates with powers all diverse. Forever last and each inscribed with eternal prayers verse. Through space and time will they bear secret wishes for the universe. I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river. I let my memories flow on adrift upon the river. And to the ocean they will flow, perhaps around the world to go. How many bones and days now gone have I now set adrift from me? How many bones and days to come will I set adrift to see? While every gift with which I part takes a sliver of my heart. T'was long ago he earned the name Hero. He led his retinue ten Pokemon against the Almighty and Gnome. In battle did his valiance proclaim, at last the strength of humble humankind. The great and noble approved his feet, and to its domain of no place returned. Let our wishes reach heaven's crown, the people together vowed. So they and their Pokemon bore stone. To the peak of heaven's mount. The people carve the gathered stones and shapes of Pokemon. The ten Pokemon that sin are shun, its almighty light upon. Wintry a stare, grim with strange power. Certainly the land of Isui bears some reverence to Sinyo! Oh sh okay, so quick poetry aside. The Sinyo runes? Uh they're a special event access area only in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which is the moment of creation. If you take an, an Arceus with you there. Um, you get like a level 1 Dialga, Palkia, or Giratina. This is the first time it's ever been acknowledged in something else. So, uh, sorry, I'm nerding out a bit there. Here where the ancient, ancient Sinnoh people were born, I will spend an eternity. Until the one with the mission appears. Sootfoot, humble root, harvested and peel it. Broiled, baked, or steamed will do, just let nobody steal it. Mash the root, then knead the mash, and once more heat it over. Grill it, only till it browns, use ember, not flamethrower. 
I'm harking well and listen closely, but why is the door potato mochi? Day spent eating all in reach is no day wasted if you ask me. Uh, Samwise Gamgee was a guest poet for that verse. Fieldlands rush by underhoof as Weirdir carries me astride. Companions of mine run with us and Pokemon dash alongside. We come to stand where wind had swept and old days play before my eyes. The memories come running through, linking this place to times gone by. Time and space here blend together and enfold my heart as I remember. The flow of time never stops, the past, future, and present. Space is ever expanded dimensions as spirits to our space. Heaven's crown, nearest to Almighty Sinnoh. Power of Almighty Sinnoh, gathered as stone at Heaven's mount. Stone, let your power flow, distort and bend the world around you. Once there was a god of field, and once there was a god of spring. Upon Isui's winds it wheeled, brought life to every grown thing. Where go you when you are not here? Asked I one day the god of spring. No answer would it give me clear, but still did I have an inkling. There is no great dark truth untold, it simply does not like the cold. Offer only friendship to those around you. Anger in, question mark, in turn confounds you. Sorrow in, question mark, will woe, it will in woe drown you. A land once riven cannot become new. Let only peace and, and amity surround you. When first this land was formed, man and mon lived happily, sharing all that they could see, like kind acts born and warmed. When Pokemon they then proposed that they should always be ready be, to help the humans should they need, and let their presence be disclosed. And that is why to this day not all Pokemon do flee, when a human they do see. They leap out where tall grasses sway. Once it shone upon us with all the warmth of welcome sun, but now we weep the grief we fall, starved of light, now it is gone. And some they go to spare with all, in search of it they reel and run. They quit their hearts abandoned hall, and leave our lands to be undone. And when they're gone, beyond recall, this land will be a home to none. This land will only ever be a home to Pokemon. There we go. That's a series of poems. Just so we get some extra lore on the region, we got them all gathered. On this week's episode of Pokemon News Online, slam poetry with Grandad. <laughs> so what more can you tell us? We're so close now. You must know more about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do? What? Wood, so you're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates. Well, I suppose that's what we got to get to learn next. Hop to it, Grandad. Well, change me to admit it, merchant that I am. I'm quite out of wood in my stores just now. We... Okay, I mean, I think I have some in storage. It's a bit of a odd quest to just throw in the middle of it. Now, the moment comes at last. The big reveal. What? Pray tell us the secret behind this wood. Secret, your expectations need tempering, I fear. This wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards. The honest work earns honest pay. Here you are, Grandad, a reward for the wood you've brought me. Oh, she just has the pixie plate. Was she just using it as like a chopping board? That's one of the plates we're looking for. What do you mean a plate? Let me see that again. Hmm, this does rather look like one of the plates you've been tracking down. How did you not notice this? While well, the engravings upon it made it less than accommodating as a cutting board. Whatever ingredients crossed it certainly gained a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps that was the board's power. The plate's power, rather. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> well, we've managed to collect quite a lot of plates by now. I still don't know what to do with them exactly. It's just a hunch, but perhaps we should have a look around the Celestica ruins. His statue has been kept here, far from the statues of Dialga and Palkia. Broken and shattered, and yet it remains. Do you know what it is? Oh, is this? I think I know what it is. Oh, but keep it in character. Who's to say? <laughs> this crumbling statue once was the figure of a Pokemon. One that was equal to both Dialga and Palkia, yet banished from our world. The great Pokemon Giratina, who was banished for his violence, left to dwell in a world on the reverse side of our own. It is a being that has lain in wait for the chance to bear its fangs, in defiance and tear down Arceus itself. Oh, Volo, I can feel it. We are getting closer to uncovering the secrets of this world. I dare say the excitement is loosened in my lips more than it should, but... You see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking, I couldn't help but wonder why life was so unfair. While I was cursed to live through such things. Of course, I imagine we all go through something like that. You see, I fancy that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be. And with that knowledge, maybe even forge a new, better world. Oh no. Oh, we've heard this before. Now if we can find the realm that exists on the reverse side of our world, and meet the creator's unwanted child banished therein, perhaps then we'll be able to understand the nature of Almighty Sinai itself. Don't you want to see it with your own eyes? We must make for the Temple of Sinai at Mount Coronet's Peak. No, I, I don't trust him anymore. <laughs> I don't like where he's going with this. He's talking about building a new world. That's never good. Why are you so chill about this? 
Yeah, so something's about to go down here. <laughs> there seems to be a sinister organ playing in the background. The temple lies in ruins now. Columns cracked and broken, like pillars now turned into spears. Stabbing into the heavens. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there's been one question that consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? It was an attempt to answer this question that I originally sought out Giratina and had it tear open that rift in space and time. After all, Giratina wished to stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. So then I had you gather the fragments of the all-encompassing deity, just as the murals of the ruins direct it. Eighteen plates said to be the fragments of, of the all-encompassing deity. You hold in your hand seventeen of them, so you must be wondering where's the last one? <sighs> Why, it's right here. Oh shit! Now hand over the plates you've gathered. I'll be the one to bring them all together. My desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer. I need to know what it is. I must know what it is. If I can meet Arceus myself, then I may also be able to subjugate its power. And using that, I will attempt to create a new, better world. If you want to keep this world from disappearing, then face me in battle. Not that you have a choice. Even if you don't wish to battle, I'm not above using force to take those plates. Pokemon wielder Volo, challenge you. He has six Pokemon. He's got a spirit arm. I've got something better. <laughs> Go on, God. <laughs> There's only room for one in this world. He's already running. He's scared. <laughs> Get him, Badoo. You can take it. <laughs> Oh, bollocks. Well, we tried. Okay, well, Volos are already defeated God now. Now the real battle begins. He's got Cynthia's team as well, from what I can see. Spirit Arm and Lucario so far. Arcanine. Okay, so it does change. It is different. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's times four. Okay, Garchomp, as long as I can get an attack in, we can beat it. We're good. Rose, right? God, he's got mo It's mostly Cynthia's team. The only difference has been Arcanine so far. Oh, Jeff or Dad's an MVP once again. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, no. <laughs> That's fine. We have the egg, and uh, this is actually super effective against Spirit Arm. Until Fairy type existed, Spirit Arm had no weaknesses. It's different now. Oh no, he's got one too! <laughs> My egg is better than yours! It's an egg showdown for the fate of the world! Get him, egg! Get him! That's cheating! Oh, he's not going! Come on, egg, I believe in you! Okay, let's defeat it. Volo has been stopped. Can't you feel it? The chill creeping through the, your veins. The eldritch presence ice in your heart. Oh no. Oh no. So Giratina is like the actual antagonist, but Volo, but like, the team. That's why we got sent here. Oh god, our team is still injured. Uh. Right. We don't get the heal. Oh, Doctor Who, come on. Okay, it's, it's obscured right now. That's a good cue. Get something back. Uh, normal type Badoop. We gotta get him back. Get our dad alive. Okay, we'll get you back as well, Doctor Who. It's time for the real god to take the reins. Oh no, god! <laughs> He's okay! No, that's, that's cheating! <laughs> oh, damn it, he's dead again. 
Scooby, I believe. Ooh, it's over, Volo! I have the high ground! <laughs> What? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, once more! I'll just keep spamming that. Come on, Jeffrey Dad, you can do it. Oh god! Think of your future son, Jeffrey Dad, you have to hang out! Get him! You finally beat Giratina. The only one who died was God! Turn and tail and running from this puny human. Pathetic. I was the one to feed you the power you needed so you could take on Arceus. I was the one who gave you the chance to claw open that space-time rift, driving the deity of space and the deity of time mads, so that you could drag the creator out from hiding. The blood of the ancient Sinnoh people flows in my veins, does it not? What is it, then, that you find so lacking in me? Do you mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? I can't live with such questions. I can't bear not satisfying the Zeke to know. Answer me, then, Grandad. Do you have some dream that propels you, as I've had? Who's to say? You don't even know? <laughs> Take the plate that started me on this path. The plate I once received from Kiratina. My journey is over. My story ended when I lost to you. You received the spooky plate. It's hard to take the situation seriously with it. It's a plate that's just like, ooh, ooh. Oh. It's the Azure flute. Oh, are we gonna be able to go but Is he just like upstairs? That's it, the Azure fruit Flute. It comes to you. So Arceus wishes to meet you. Of all people, you have to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? God, I have no desire to watch from the silence as Arceus comes to you. I absolutely cannot accept the world in which you would ever manage to defeat Arceus. Someday I'll solve every riddle in the legends of Hisui's Pokemon. And on that day I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it. No matter how many years, how many decades, how many centuries it takes me. It's like a big frowny face, like, oh, Volo's a meaty. Seek out all the Pokemon there are to meet, then play your flute upon the dais in the Temple of Sinnoh. Can I play the flute? My team is very badly injured. Oh god, that gives me chills. Nothing happened. We haven't completed the Pokedex yet. God's gonna send me a text! I said catch all the Pokemon! Did you not get my messages? <laughs> Have you heard? There's been reports that a huge shadow appeared in the Cobalt Coastlands and then just vanished without a trace. So that's Giratina. That's where the cave was. Granddad, my boy, you must tell me. You went to the Temple of Sinnoh with Volo, correct? What exactly happened? Wow, that's incredibly vague. Why won't you tell me anything? I've just been told of the, of the foul plan Volo had concocted. I'll think no more on that scoundrel. Just another tale of passion burned too bright and consuming its bearer. That is what happens if you allow it to. What of you? Are you making progress at your... What do you call the studies of your Pokémon? Surveying, was it? Who's to say? Indeed, well, Hisui still holds more fascinating Pokémon. Can I speak to you of one of them? Which Pokémon would you like to hear about? Oh, I... Okay, I guess they're just in this game. When a blizzard bla batters the Alabaster Icelands, Tornadus may be about. Oh god, we gotta look for weather. Thunderous needs rain in the coastlands. Tornadus needs a blizzard. Landorus is guardian of the fields. It seems it can be glimpsed in the obsidian field lands. Perhaps you'd be so good as to catch it for me. Okay, so we gotta get the three of them as well. And you've completed entries in your Pokedex, Pokedex for Landorus, Tornadus, and Thunderus. Come and speak with me. Okay, so we have to do that as well. So we've now done every mission bar, like, catch Giratina, catch these legendary mythical Pokemon from Gen 5. Can you find a big weasel? Uh, I mean, I assume with the weather, what you're supposed to do is, while you're filling your Pokedex in this region, which you have not already done so, keep an eye out for this cool new one that's gonna appear. But because we have completed most of the Pokedex, I'm gonna sleep in my bed for two weeks. Oh, that's gotta be him. God, he's just roaming. 
Oh my god! Get him, god! Oh my... He's just zooming! No, I, wait, I can battle him, can I? Oh no! No, no! Granddad! Oh no, we lost a lot of items. I'll, I'll catch ya! I mean, that's one way to kind of cheese it. No, Gyarados, this is not your fight! Gyarados, get out of the way! <laughs> Dismantle the raft, Gooby. We don't have time. There we go. Is that Gyarados in the fight? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, take that one down first. Get out of here. Uh, get him with a Psycho Cut. Okay. That's scary. Throw a ball from here. Okay, we got a Thunderous. Hello, Giratina. I have come to claim you. Get him, Badoo! Round two. Badoof, no! Give him a big bite! There's only room for one god here, and his name is Doof. <laughs> you found something shiny where Giratina was. A Gryceous core. When using Giratina, yeah, so that changes its form too. Cool. There he is. Hello, friend. God, he's gonna be zipping about too. But there's a lot more Pokemon here. I might need to clear out the Glalies or get him away from him. Problem here is like, Jesus. <laughs> oh my, okay, right. Quick reset of that. The problem is the Glalies there. This fucking Glalie! Get out of here! I w oh my god! I wish I could throw Pokeballs from top of the Stantler. <laughs> I didn't even get to see that one! I have Jet Balls, but like, I think I have to like break the shield? I don't know if a Jet Ball works. Like, eh. Oh, well, no, apparently it does. Do you mind? Oh god, he's ghost type now as well, so Crutch is really gonna hurt. Glalie, please. Jet ball. <laughs> Woo! What's it? Drift limbs, please. Okay, injure him. Take a little bit. This is probably gonna kill our dad. Sandseer Storm? Well, that's pretty strong. <laughs> oh, that was, that was pretty straightforward. And now it is time to tell you the rest. There is one more of that cohort. Oh shit, we get a new genie. Oh my god. <laughs> Not exactly what I expected. This is Enamorous. A Pokemon hailed as the Herald of Spring. Enamorous is not particularly given to ill behavior, but I imagine you'd like to document her for your Pokedex, wouldn't you? Catch her then if you like. She always flits about in the Crimson Mirelands. That's a bit wild. Okay, so it's not a trio anymore. There's now four of them. It becomes a trio because you're in the past, meaning it eventually dies. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Enamorous does not survive the next 100 years. Let's enjoy it while we can. Okay, that's one. Even if it whiffs, it still counts. There's two. There we go. Enamorous. It's got like a snake. Yeah, it's like a scarf. It's really different. Agile style. It's gonna have its own kind of storm. Yeah, spring tide storm. Very colorful one. Kind of excited to see what its stats are. The stats are all a bit like distorted in like Legends Arceus, I think. The HP is definitely different, but like things like this, I can't wait to see them in like a main series Pokemon game or like a more standard one, because then we can just see what it does. This and Zorak are like two I'm actually excited for. That's really cool. A completed Pokedex at last. Oh shit! We, I guess we don't have to do those research tasks.
Going away, you could almost call this a granddad dex. So where must you go now? Who's to say? You'll find nowhere else in all his suey closer to the heavens. You're practically a bunch of stars up there. As if one with the very universe, all creation. What will happen there, I wonder? My scientific curiosity is positively roiling, but well, this isn't my tale of adventure, it's yours. This is for you and you alone to go and find out. Okay, this is it. Namorous arrives in Hisui once winter has passed. Hence the epithet Herald of Spring. A company when I have the pleasures of great help. She ferries me hither and yon across Hisui. I'll leave her in your care for now, I suppose. For now? Indeed, even you can hardly expect to live for all time, surely. She will be in your care for now. Here, this is the reveal glass. If you use it on Enamorous and her brethren, they will assume different forms. Oh shit, so Enamorous gets one too. That's really cool. So they actually kept that intact. Bink really compliments the gang. They st like they, they look uh, they all look kind of great together. Landorus? Thunderous? Tornadus? Oh my god. That's an interesting take on the theory and form. It's like an anteater, yeah. That's so different. I mean, it's cool. It complements Landeros theory in very well. Well, there, there's the genie quartet gathered. That's so cool that there's a new one. Okay, we've done everything. Bar this. We are able to actually go meet God himself at this point in time. But until we get this man his big weasel, we can't do it. Because it's just gonna be so too anticlimactic. So I've now gotta go back to the first fucking zone in the game to complete this quest because this man's needs can't be satisfied. God, like, I just wanna go meet Arceus himself. Like, we're literally at the end of the game, but like, we have to finish this. Oh my god. <laughs> Get in the damn ball, weasel. Okay, let's see before we head back. So it needs to be 2 8. 2 6, 2 3, 2 1, 2 4, 2 1. Two. There's one more. He's under two foot. Why are they all so tiny? I don't even like Weasel that much. Okay, you're bigger than your brother, so you get to live. The other one will be killed. Just to send a message to the Weasel people. You will not make it back to the wild. Two four, two four, two four. Two eight! You are the chosen child. Look at them side by side. It's almost like the big one is the little one's older sibling. Yeah, the tip of the little one's one snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. Thank you for the favor. I know your survey course folk work is no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. We get five orange berries. No side quests left. No. It's not the weasel. That would have been comically cruel. <laughs> oh, Darkrai's on the farm! <laughs> I will haunt your dreams and make sure your nights are nothing but a restless torture! He seems to be having fun playing with the other Pokemon. Let's climb the mountain one final time. Please don't hurt me, Octavire. Your Zero Flute is making a sound. Would you like to play it? You can now play as Luigi. A glowing stairway appeared. Oh my, we're going into heaven. Oh. Oh, the pattern, that's the one in the Signor Runes. I recognize this! There he is! You gonna provide some context for what's been happening? <laughs> He's sending us a text. Your phone is now just a regular phone. I've downgraded your model! Oh god. The drums! Mysterious bomb! Gah! Jesus! The game's journalist was right! It's the Dark Souls of Pokemon! 
Is this phase two? Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus! Ah, oh, okay, you have to time it for the exact moment he does that. Holy crap! The bag is lost in heaven. Someone just goes up the stairs later, and there's just like a bag left there. <laughs> oh my god, come on! You have to time that so precisely! He's got another face! Get him, Doctor Who! I see this became flying type. Oh no! Uh, Doctor Who's not gonna make it out of this one. Do your best, Doctor. There's only one Pokemon that can defeat God. <laughs> the real one. Oh no, God! The doof tried! Bow down to your new master! He's using calm mind, he's buffing? He's steel type now. Oh no, he just changes his type! Oh dang! We can get him with this. The drums are going ham! <laughs> Strong style! Come on, finish it! Not like this! We got him! We got him! Jesus Christ, that's hard! <laughs> Thou hast done well to seek out all Pokemon. Unflagging devotion to a goal shall see it through. So hast thou proven by thine actions. Much as that ancient hero once did. He and the Pokemon that walked beside him. To see such truths proven anew. Beyond the bounds of time and space. Bring a joy to me. I am glad that I chose thee to call to this world. Upon thee, and upon this creation where thou now dwellest. I bestow my blessing. I would walk this world together with thee. Show me how it appeareth in thine eyes. You received the legend plate from Arceus. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of all creation. When using a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of every type there is. So we were called back in time to basically save Arceus. Because the voids were being opened. We're still trapped here! But we got his blessing! Do I not get to go home? I just- I'm just forever stuck here. Ingo is stuck here too! We just own Arceus now. Holy shit, Granddad! Where did you get the god of all creation? Make it use judgment. Okay. Oh god, what poor unsuspecting po- This poor Luxio. Judgment. It's super effective. Oh god, so he will change type into whatever is super effective. Before he makes his attack. It's, it's now a bug type move. Oh, that's so broken. <laughs> that's unbelievably powerful. So Arceus is always super effective against anything it fights. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> Having a nice chat. Oh, we did it! We beat Legends Arceus! It is the heavenly fount from which pours the light that shines across the Sui. It's luminous, guides, and protects all Pokemon. Suya mythology states that Arceus is the creator of all things. I'm gonna nickname him Mr. Huggles.